Welcome to the world of material science. My name is Professor Bonnet. In this short video, we will learn about magnesium and titanium as other important representatives of light metals. Let's start with magnesium. Magnesium or magnesium alloys are only occasionally used as a construction material, for example, in the automotive industry, due to their even lower density compared to aluminum. On the one hand, the use of magnesium has a serious advantage of saving mass while at the same time utilizing favorable mechanical and physical properties. On the other hand, magnesium by its nature has a strong tendency to corrode. Due to environmental conditions such as exposure to aggressive media, for example salt on the roads in winter, and exposure to air pollution, for example in the form of sulfur dioxide, people are still very skeptical about the use of magnesium. The mechanical properties depend to a large extent on the alloy composition, the manufacturing process and its parameters. The main alloying elements are aluminum, zinc, silicon and manganese. The Young's modulus of magnesium alloys with 45,000 MPa is once again significantly lower than that of aluminum alloys with 70,000 MPa. However, this can be advantageous if a high damping capacity is required. The formability of magnesium is comparatively very low compared with that of aluminum material in the cold state. Under uniaxial tensile stress, only deformation of less than 12% is achieved. Consequently, hot forming is necessary for industrial use. But for this very reason, most magnesium alloys are usually formed by casting. They can be cast as sand, permanent mold or die casting. The advantage of thin walled casting in the case of magnesium alloys should in principle always be exploited in the shaping process. The light metals aluminum and magnesium were combined for the instrument panel support of the Audi A8. With 5.4 kg it is only about half the weight of the conventional sheet metal component. A cast construction of aluminum on the driver's side and one of magnesium on the passenger's side made this possible. Both components are bolted together. The seat backrest structure of the Mercedes-Benz SLK is a lightweight construction made exclusively of die-cast magnesium. In the seat, which will later be covered with leather, part of the component even remain visible. The last light metal to be briefly introduced is titanium. Titanium is the ninth most common chemical element in the Earth's crust. The general availability is therefore very large. However, due to the complicated manufacturing process, titanium is about 10 times more expensive than conventional steel. Titanium, like iron, exists as a polymorphic metal in two allotropic modifications. Alpha titanium crystallizes in the hexagonally closest packing, HCP. Beta titanium crystallizes in a body-centered cubic form, BCC. The conversion takes place at 882.5 degrees Celsius. In terms of strength, titanium materials are roughly equivalent to austenitic steels. In particular, the high 0.2 yield strengths together with a relatively low density result in a weight saving of 42% when steel is substituted by titanium for the same strength. Significant advantages are therefore evident in applications with high acceleration forces. The lower centrifugal forces compared with steel allow smaller design layouts, which in turn lead to weight savings and a reduction in interior forces. Titanium is used in aircraft and rocket construction, chemical and plant engineering, but also in architecture, interior design, mechanical engineering and the jewelry industry. Not to be left unmentioned, however, is the use in medical technology due to the good biocompatibility of the material. Thanks for watching and in the next video we will speak about heavy metals.